Good morning, Portia. Guess what we're doing today? We are upgrading a few things and building a factory. <laughs> I know. I have been so excited about this for so long that, yeah, I am uh, beyond excited. So, for the, uh, let's go ahead and place our factory. And I'm going to pay, place it by the furnaces pretty close to uh, my house, so it's easy to get to. And ta-da! Dun-dun-dun! Okay. <laughs> I'm also going to be upgrading our fence. I haven't upgraded it at all. Uh, oh, I need to bring some extra materials. I sorted it back into my box earlier. But we're going to do the marble fence just because I like the way it looks. I don't know that it matches my house at all, but, you know, whatever. So, building the factory is no big deal. It's, uh, you just need some stuff. You need to have get to the point where it allows you to do that. And then, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty easy peasy. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff because I have now used most of my money. And it's a good day to sell. I don't know why I'm walking. Apparently I just want to jog today. And as you can see, the flower sale is still going. It'll go for a few days. I'm all about the flower sale. Okay, let's buy mint a gift. Alright, enough jogging. Let's go, let's go. I shall not keep you in suspense any longer. Okay, I won't keep me in suspense. How's that? Okay. And at this point, we need to actually take all of the stuff in, like, all of our boxes and um, move them into the factory. However, I want to get this fence done first because that way I don't just forget about it and I have a mismatch fence. You know, like I'm prone. So, back we go. It always takes such a long time to uh, do the uh, book. Alright, there we go. All right, here you go. Now, now we move all of our furnaces, all of our um, cutters, our, it, pretty much if it's a tool and uh, then we need to pick it up and put it in our factory. Obviously, our generators, there's no point. I'll just pick up all my tools and go inside. And you do need to go inside the first time. After that, you can do most almost everything from the outside. But you need to put all of your tools on these platforms and the more tools you have the faster things go as far as I can tell because you can you still have all of these 
items working on X, Y, or Z. So. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't put the stove there. That's not how the stove works. And I don't really have room for them anyway, so. Whatever. Okay, now, huh. now we need to pick up all of the things. This is going to take a minute. Because all of these things need to go into the factory. I spent most of my money. But, I guess whatever. Alright, I'm not going to put any of the artifacts or anything like that in there because that's not going to help me in the slightest. Alright. And I could put them all in there on the outside, but I also haven't put anything in my generator yet. So, let's do that now. Because we want it to run, right? And you can use any of these power sources. I am going to use wood. Because it doesn't matter what power source I'm using. It gives you X amount of days. And I have tons of wood. So, for me, this is the best bang for your buck. Because two stacks of wood, and now I have 208 days and three hours of supply. I think we're okay for a while. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting all my stuff in the material storage. And as you can see, there are 300 spaces. And this is the tier 1 factory. So it's going to fit all my stuff. No problemo. And wait, no. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Over enthusiastic gear. Now, I should probably open my beehives and stuff, but I don't care, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. I have picked up the last of my few things and as you can see this is where you if you do acquire material that's where if you have things being created inside your factory you can pick them up I don't have anything right now but it's okay not a big deal so also you can as I said you can put everything inside the storage from the outside so you don't have to zone in every single time you want to do something. In fact, you almost never have to zone in. It's kind of nice, just for the very, very simple fact that it saves time. Zoning into somewhere every single time you want to make something, pick something up, etc. seems wasteful. That doesn't go there. Alright. So, we're going to be putting the last of our stuff, my hoarding problems in the bank. And a few of these things I may take out again later and put in the cooking thing. But for now, I just want to get everything in there. Hmm. 
Okay, my stuff. Craft it. Okay. This is tedious, but it's okay. I want to sell some of that stone. I have too much of it. Now, I can make everything on the outside, but you can make stuff on the inside as well. So I, I don't have anything being made right now, but we need to change that. I have stuff that I need to be making all the time. And... I want to get on it, right? So you just you don't have to hit multiple, you can just hit craft and you can still put in I want 500 of these. It does not matter if you do not have enough of the material to make what you're queuing. And in my opinion, that's really nice because maybe I want to make 5000 blocks of stone. I don't know why I do. I just do. That way you are pretty much making them forever and you don't have to worry about it. It's it's really nice. So like here. You can also just put, hey, I want to make a thousand of them. You go. Now, I don't have enough aluminum to make all of those items. That's okay. I don't care. I also need to go farm some iron and some aluminum, but whatever. And suddenly I'm going to be out of wood because I'm making a ridiculous number of charcoal. So here is me pretty much trying to decide how many of these things I want to make. Because I use all these, and these are what I have queued, right here. These are all the things I've queued so far and how many of them I've queued. And if you look at the fur furthest left hand side, you can see that my skeever is trying to make two things, my furnace is trying to make ten, um, my cutter is trying to make one, my electric furnace is trying to make two. Right. And you make stuff from your workbench here. So I need a wall light. So let's say I need a wall light. It, and you will notice that this is not instant. So <laughs> if I make one, it's going to take a minute, depending on what the furnace is trying to otherwise make. Because if it doesn't have, say, the iron bars, it's going to go try to make the iron bars. those total All right, I am trying to figure out what I need overall and it actually took me a minute to figure out that once you queue them it's gonna keep trying to make it ad nauseum uh, it's it's really obvious now, but when I very first got the factory for the first time, I was like, 
hey, I told you to create a wall lamp. Where's my wall lamp? Because previously, if I did something at the workbench, bam, it's done. Well, it's not like that. I do not have a wall lamp yet sitting on the bench. Okay, so one of the things I did not go over, I guess, closely, and I want to make sure it's covered, is, for example, E is auto work table. An auto work table means everything you have made, everything you can do, It here is where you build things, essentially. And um, that can include quest items, that can include really almost, almost anything. So, when you need to do that, you come here and you're very literally making anything in the work table. So, for example, let's, uh, these are some of the things you can make in um, the blender, but it's more food related blender items than, see, it's a red tea, milk, uh, herbal mixture, etc. But if you go to the blender option, and I don't know why these are separated, here is where I can make my resin. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make 100 resin. There you go. So, it's important to keep in mind where you do things, but honestly, the pictures are pretty self-sufficient. Here's a furnace, here's a cutter, etc. Furniture. Now, as I said, I don't really understand why they have some of these, I guess, set up like this, but they do, so whatever. Okay, and then F is product storage, and these are the things that have just been made. These have not been um, picked up yet, and uh, you can click on them individually with your right click, but we're going to go ahead and click on all of them, because, yep. And then you can click for material storage. So, to sort all, what you have to do is you have to click sort on the left hand side. And then it gives you the pop-up saying, sort identical items found in your inventory and warehouse all into the warehouse? Yes. Okay. And you have to do it this way, because before there was always a sort all or whatever option. Um, Alright. So, like, we want to put in, you can still manually put things in, like, that. I manually put in, oh, crap, I want those snakeberries back. And when the when you first put stuff in, it is always going to be at the end. And if you ever want need to sort it out, you click sort again, and it will go ahead and sort it the way it previously did. Now, I don't actually know how they have things sorted, particularly. It seems to me like a lot of the crafted items are towards the end, but not all of them. For example, here is some gathered items, and then up here is some crafted items. So, you know what? I would not consider it too hard. There aren't such a large number of pages that you can't find things. If you don't want to store stuff like this, then don't. Do it all manually, bring stuff in. You do you. I find that to be tedious, and I am more okay with this. So, um, the other thing, oops, no, 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 let's go over here, and let's see what we can make, hmm. how about, A DD, dee -dee, stop. I need one. Now, this does pull from the factory. So, go ahead and make it out here. It knows what the factory is. It will find stuff in the factory. It makes your life, in my opinion, so much easier because for this side, you still need 
to manually build things. But, uh oh, what am I doing? Okay. And I don't want to manually build any stuff. I want it to do it. I'm lazy. <laughs> Stick with what you're good at. <laughs> but, yep. So, you can do almost everything outside. You very rarely need to go into the factory. But, don't let this stop you. If you want to go into the factory, go into the factory. And then you can do everything from there. You can also do your uh, remote control device. Here it says that my DD stuff is, you know, 80% done. And here are the items being built. My storage. My work table. And my autom automaton controls. Now, what these are. You see research notes? Um, you can upgrade your furnace to do better essentially so right now I need one research notes let's go buy some okay so for this here are the books we need right here at the research center they cost 10 um, discs a piece I can only for afford one right now, so I'm going to buy one. And... Tom-Tom controls. So, do I want to do my processing optimization so... my processing is faster, or since I only have one bug, I can only do one right now? Or do I want to do the efficiency of transfer between machines? Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and do processing optimization. And now, you can see that right now I have 1% increase. So, prepare yourself. These get expensive eventually. The number you need eventually does go up. It's not going to be just one anymore. So, you start the crying now. Save yourself some time. But, it's not bad. I mean, everything is faster in the factory. Everything. Because look at how many things I've made in, like, since this morning. Pretty awesome. And, um, oh, also, even if you are in the factory proper, you do still need to use this left-hand sort button to pop everything in there. I don't, I don't know I need these manually. Okay. So, yeah. That's the factory. Not bad, right? I hope that helps you guys and answers your questions with the factory. You can move it if you want to later, just like everything else from Angie. And I hope you're all having a great day. Bye. So that is all I have for you guys today. And I hope you have a fantastic day. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.